Hey guys, Brian here. I'm going to be discussing today what Apple's been doing with their secret liquid metal product and how it will be implemented in iPhone 5 and the next generation of iPads. Now, liquid metal is basically an amphorous alloy from a company situated in Delaware. Now, it's not literally liquid, it's just the name of the product. They've been using this liquid metal since the iPhone 3G SIM card picture of that is right there. Now, what amphorous means, when I just talked about, it means it doesn't have the crystalline structure of normal metals. So that will mean, if they do implement it in the iPhone 5, it'll be, you'll be able to drop your iPhone more, and it really just won't break. And it, the strength to weight ratio is superb. It will be able, it'll be very light and still very, very strong. Now, it is also incredibly corrosion resistant. So it won't rust or anything, so you don't need to worry about that. And one of the main reasons is it also has very unique acoustical properties, which will could potentially uh, fix the, or partially fix iPhone 4 antenna issues. Now, why it's called liquid metal is because it retains most of its strength after molding and casting, unlike other metals. Well, they don't lose a lot, but they don't retain it as much as this alloy. Now, to show you what I mean by amphorous, here's a picture of the crystalline structure of an amphorous versus a crystalline. I'm no chemist, but this is the pictures. Now, here's a picture of the iPhone, basically an iPhone. You would see this metal anywhere on the back and the sides. Whether it be implemented on anything in the front, it's hard to tell. We don't know enough about the metal just to, to tell you. Now, the new iPhone and iPad actually might have been started testing. Now, how do we know this? Deep in the iPhone iOS 4 is this code that pops up every single time something new in the iOS family is going to be tested. So, this code recently popped up. Does this mean that we're going to be getting a new iPod soon? Or iPhone soon? Not necessarily. Boy, Geni Boy Genius Reports thinks that this actually just means they're just field testing. So, if you happen to see a new iPhone at a bar, that's probably iPhone 5. Now, the next iPad, as is also being field tested, is set to, dis to be released around Christmas. That's an approximation, but it's the best we have as of right now. Now, it will be, according to rumors, 7 inches. You can see a 7-inch model versus the 9.7 inch model. Now, how that will affect iPad sales, well, we won't be able to see that until it's released. I personally would like a smaller iPad, but I would love to hear what you think about it. Post that in the comments. So, that's been your update from Daniel King, so thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll have another video up soon. Thanks, guys.